BDD is UI agnostic. It describes how the app should behave hiding all the implementation details. That allows us not to rewrite testing scenarios when details change, but the idea stays the same. The main focus should be on the requirements. But what if UI representation is a part of the requirements? Let's say that you must test the app's color scheme, or you need to check the layout. In the plain old widget tests, the easiest way would be to use golden tests. It is the approach where you literally make screenshots of the app or its parts, and then compare them with reference screenshots you have created before. Let's pick the counter app from one of the previous tutorials and add a golden test. For this demo, I will use a golden toolkit plugin, so let's add it to the pubspec.yaml file. Now let's run the code generator and write a new test. The implementation of the first step will be almost the same as of the app is running, but instead of pump widget from the Flutter test framework, we will use a pump widget builder from the golden toolkit. We have one more step to implement. The parameter will be a scenario name. In this method, we will ask Golden Toolkit to capture a screenshot and compare it with the reference image. OK, let's open the generated test. It looks good, but in order to make Golden Tests work, we need to use the test goldens function instead of test widgets. You may change the method name by adding a custom tag to the UI test scenario. Alright, now we have a compilation error here. We need to import Golden Toolkit to use it. We may fix this error by providing the required import in the feature file. Now we need to generate a reference image for this UI test. There is a command line command for this, but I prefer to generate them straight from my IDE. To do that, we will simply copy-paste a config from the Golden Toolkit documentation. Now I have an additional option for the tests. I can run them, debug them, or generate reference images. Let's do this right now. You may see that the new folder was created with a new image file in it. Here how it looks like. It's already good for testing colors and layouts, so in your tests you might want to keep it as it is. But if you want to have fonts rendered correctly, you will need one additional trick. For fonts manifest to generate correctly, there must be an asset section in the pubspec.yaml file. Most probably you already have it in your app. I will add an empty image folder there. Now we need to add one more line to the app is rendered step. Let's generate the new reference image. Alright, our UI test is ready. Let's run all tests. Ok, now let's change the swatch color and run our tests one more time. As you can see, all our functional tests passed, so the app works as it should, but the UI test failed. The framework created an additional folder with all failed tests. Here is our master image that was a reference. Here is how it looks like in the app now, and here is the difference between them. Ok, I want to show you one more cool trick. Let's revert the swatch color and remove the failures folder. I can test how the app will look like on different devices. To do this, I need to change the app is rendered step like that. Ok, 
Let's regenerate our reference image. We have two devices now. How cool is that? Let's break the test, but now I will change not the color, but the title. Good, let's run our tests one more time. The UI test failed, because now we have pixel differences in actual and reference images. That leads us to the question. Is it possible to combine UI test scenarios with functional ones? Yes, it is. I will copy-paste our given the app is rendered step to other scenarios. And the last line step that will generate and validate images. I will move the tag above the feature and limit rendering to one device. Let's generate reference images now. Ok, all our tests became UI tests. To simplify things even further, you may want to set test goldens as the default name for all your BDD tests. To do that, you may create a build.yaml file with the following content. Ok, now this tag is not needed. That's it. Thanks for watching and test your apps. See you.